One of the projects I mentioned in this video will 100x, and I will tell you exactly why. So Cardano will soon hard fork, and that will allow for all sorts of exciting things like DeFi and smart contracts. But a big part of this will be a decentralized exchange, also known as a DEX, and more specifically, the Cardano DEX who beats everyone else out. This project will explode, absolutely explode in value, and you can be a part of it because they haven't started yet. So let's talk about what a decentralized exchange is, why they're so extremely valuable, and then we'll break down all of the projects that are aiming to be number one and all the details that you need to know. So this will help you build a more clear picture as to who might be the big winner here. And this is one of those videos that I would recommend watching all the way through. That way you understand the whole picture of what's going on and you have better buying decisions. So let's get into it. Now to set up this whole video, we need to first talk about traditional centralized exchanges. These are those typical exchanges you hear about, Binance, Coinbase, KuCoin, Kraken, Gemini, the big companies that you hear about all the time who are making tons of money. Here's how a centralized traditional exchange works. And don't worry, we're going to keep it non-technical, so just stay with me here. So first off, you deposit money or some kind of cryptocurrency into an exchange. The exchange is now a custodian of your asset. You can kind of think of it like you have a gold bar and you're storing it at your friend's house in their safe. They're a custodian of your gold bar. That's kind of what these crypto exchanges are doing for your crypto asset. Assets. Now you decide, you know what? I think Elon is feeling frisky today. Grimes is in a good mood, so Elon's in a good mood, and he might just go ahead and mess around and move the whole crypto market with a tweet. So you think, I'm gonna buy $69,000 worth of Ethereum like a true American should. So you place a market order of Ether. The order goes into the exchange's order book where it matches you with a seller or multiple sellers who are selling $69,000 worth of Ether. The transaction settles, you pay a $345 fee to Coinbase, Brian Armstrong's net worth goes up and you're now a proud owner of Ether. And this is great, but we can do better. Let's change the scenario and say, say you saw that video of Vitalik Buterin rapping. Every team and every project we can get far. Subvergic biologic, we work like a bazaar, yeah. And now you're like, yeah, I'm out. I wanna sell my $69,000 worth of Ethereum because what is that, what was that? Yeah. <laughs> so, so this time you decide to use a decentralized exchange like Uniswap, the biggest DEX on the Ethereum network to facilitate the trade. Here's how that works. So you connect your wallet to a DEX like Uniswap, Venus, or PancakeSwap using either a service like MetaMask or a hardware wallet like Ledger, which I have linked down in the description if you want a good hardware wallet. Your funds stay in your wallet. The DEX never holds your money. The DEX is not a custodian of your money. It's only a platform, unlike a centralized exchange. The money stays in your wallet. Your wallet is connected, and now you place a sell order for $69,000 worth of Ether in exchange for $69,000 worth of USDC. Because again, you can't tolerate Vitalik's wrapping. You need to get out of this. Yeah. It's also an important note that DEXs can't exchange fiat currencies like the US dollar. The closest thing to the US dollar that you can exchange in a DEX is a stable coin like USDC. A USD stable coin is backed one to one with the US dollar. So you place your order and it goes through an algorithmic order book on the DEX. This is then executed by a smart contract. Now we love smart contracts on this channel. I'll link a video above with more information on those if you aren't yet well versed. They are extremely exciting. Once the seller and the buyer are matched, the smart contract automatically executes the trade and the trade is executed. The funds in your wallet are now swapped with the buyer's wallet and the trade is simply done. Now the exciting part is not only did you not need to trust a custodian like Coinbase or Binance, you just performed the exact same trade for 90% cheaper. Now, how did decentralized exchanges become worth so much, like billions of dollars? And this is because they all have their own token to help facilitate trades, a token that you can buy and invest in. And when they're on a large network and they become number one, they are facilitating a lot of trades, but you don't have to believe me. Let's just look at the numbers here. So Uniswap is the largest decentralized exchange, period. It's located on Ethereum. Uniswap's market cap is nearly $18 billion. It's the 11th largest cryptocurrency. Uniswap's market cap is about 4% of Ethereum's. 
PancakeSwap is the second largest DEX, the second largest decentralized exchange. It's located on the Binance Smart Chain. PancakeSwap's market cap is $5.1 billion. It's the 33rd largest cryptocurrency. PancakeSwap's market cap is about 6% of Binance tokens. So we can infer Whoever becomes the largest DEX on Cardano will have a market cap roughly 4 to 6% that of Cardano, which comes out to about 3.8 to 5.7 billion dollars at Cardano's current market cap, which has been going up quickly, meaning it'll be around the 30th largest cryptocurrency period. And that's not even the best part. Most DEX's tokens haven't even come out yet, and one of them could shoot up 100x if you happen to buy the right one. So now let's break down all of the DEXs that are in the running here, that way you can decide who might have the best chances to take it all and really explode in price. So the first one we're gonna talk about is Sunday Swap. Sunday Swap is the DEX with the most amount of publicity on the Cardano network. They seem to have the marketing aspect down with their business. It's evident by their more than 100,000 followers on Twitter, which ain't bad for a product that hasn't even launched yet. Now, thanks to the publicity Sunday Swap has, they also have the most information out, it seems anyways. So here's what you need to know. They've done a live test with their DEX to show some basic functionality of creating a pool and performing a simple trade. This was actually done on Crypto Capital Ventures YouTube channel, which has some great content. If you've yet to see it, it's worth checking out. The test ran smoothly. However, it's important to note that this was done on a test net. It was not the actual main net. They also have hands down some of the best branding out there, a very clean, minimalistic feel with nice illustrations. I do wonder, however, if it's not like serious looking enough because it does have to do with money, like a lot of money. And some people might be like, I want something that looks a little bit more serious, but that doesn't take anything away from the functionality. They are starting with an ISO model, which means some of their initial funding will come from users who stake their ADA with Sunday Swap, and you stake it for 25 days. Now, this is an interesting funding model where it's kind of rug pull proof, and you get some Sunday Swap token in exchange for doing nothing but staking your ADA for about a month in Sunday Swap's pool. It's an interesting way to do things. Now let's talk concerns, of which there's really two that, that I've seen. So first off, many have said that the team is too inexperienced and not having enough of a background to successfully make this massive undertaking happen, or at least not make it happen on time. It's of course hard to know how they're really doing from the outside, but it wouldn't be the first time that a company was great at marketing and then failed to deliver the high expectations. Now I do have some confidence after seeing their test net, however, time will only tell what ends up happening. The second potential concern here is their initial distribution of coins. How they have it set up is 45% of the tokens will go to the founding team, to advisors, to future hires and investors. 55% will go to the public. It would be nice nice in my opinion to see the inside ownership just a little bit lower however this doesn't mean it's a scam either overall this is definitely a dex to keep your eyes on the next dex we need to talk about is ergo dex ergo dex is the upcoming cardano dex with what seems to be the most praise from those in the know if you look at any technical forum you'll see ergo dex topping the list in terms of who is favorite. Charles Hoskinson himself, creator of Cardano, has even praised Ergo many times for the work that they've done. Now the DEX itself is built on Ergo and Cardano, and you have these cross-chain capabilities between the two networks. And this is a really interesting way to do it, and it could benefit the Ergo coin and ecosystem as well, having these close ties with Cardano. Now they already have an automated market maker, which allows assets to be traded automatically without permission. Or you can do other cool things like just set a limit order. They do have a very, very experienced team, including people who have actually worked on Cardano, which I love to see. And there was no pre-sale for their token. The only way that you'll be able to get their token is from using the DEX, vastly different from Sunday Swap. And many people point to that as a reason why they like Ergo DEX so much. The Ergo DEX with basic functionality is set to launch day one after smart contracts go live on Cardano. Now let's talk concerns. 
My biggest concern here is this isn't their only project. The Ergo team has a whole lot more going on besides just the decks, so that isn't their singular focus. Also, the marketing for the project is nowhere near Sunday Swap. I think if you had Ergo decks, the functionality of the team, and Sunday Swap's branding and marketing, that'd be a powerhouse that no one could stop. So this is going to be kind of an interesting dynamic to see who does better here because it's kind of a balance between popularity and utility in crypto, and maybe it's not either one of these. So in summary, Ergodex is kind of the choice for nerds, for, for lack of a better word, but hey, you know, I'm a nerd. I like the technical stuff. Ergodex has a lot going on for itself. Next up is another heavy hitter with a whole lot of potential, and that is ADAX. ADAX will have an automated market maker as well, meaning you can do fun things like set a price for an order to execute at. They have built an ERC-20 bridge. This is really cool. ERC-20, if you're not familiar, is the token used on Ethereum for creating and issuing smart contracts. The bridge part of this means that users are going to be able to migrate their ERC-20 tokens over to Cardano where they're translated and usable for Cardano DEX transactions where transactions are a whole lot cheaper. And then users can even convert back to ERC-20 if they choose. So this is really exciting. ADEX also claims to have this really interesting internal reward system that will provide a greater incentive for small liquidity pool operators to operate lesser used token swaps. What this basically means is certain small tokens are sometimes hard to trade on DEXs because there's too much risk for someone to operate that pool, so they just don't operate it. ADEX claims to have a solution for that. The fees on ADEX are expected to be very low at 0.3%, and ADEX keeps none of it. The initial token distribution is as follows. 10% for liquidity, 10% for the team, 15% for staking, 25% for the treasury, and 40% to the public. Now, however, that is a relatively low amount going to the public. Only a small portion of the total coins are going to actual developers. Most will just be locked up in places like the treasury or for staking. Now we have Occam Phi. Occam Phi is a bit of a different take on a Cardano DEX. So instead of primarily offering swaps like most DEXs do, they're gonna offer this kind of suite of financial products, including Occam Raise. Now Occam Raise is this kind of launch pad for other Cardano projects to raise capital and build their projects. Charles Hoskinson said that this project could help other Cardano projects get into further stages of development. Now we have Cardax. Cardax is another DEX set to go live Q3 2021. Their claim to fame is an idea that they've cooked up called the Extended Automated Market Maker. They say that automated market makers are great for DEXs, but they're not always perfect. So this new mechanism would allow people to pair tokens to swap without a large amount of upfront capital, aka liquidity. Now I know this is a bit technical, but basically they'll both allow for regular swaps and plan to have this low barrier to entry method for small liquidity pools. Now, a liquidity pool is basically someone fronting money to facilitate transactions in the form of income. I'll do a video on liquidity pools and how you can make money from them at some future date. Cardax does keep 0.05% of transaction costs as a fee that they retain themselves, unlike some of the other DEXs on this list. Now we have RaySwap. RaySwap is a DEX that kind of combines ideas from several other DEXs that we already discussed. RaySwap is this kind of DEX DAP ecosystem, so there are many things that you can do beyond normal swaps, including kickstart funding for new projects and NFTs integrated right on that ecosystem. Raise another one of those pools who keep zero commissions for themselves, which would make me feel good if I was a token holder. Their token is called the X-Ray token, which is kind of cool. Then we have MinSwap. MinSwap is another DEX with a fancy ERC-20 converter, very cool. So Ethereum users can hop over and use the DEX on Cardano with their Ethereum ERC-20 tokens. They had no pre-mine or no pre-sale, meaning it's as fair as a launch can possibly be. And all trading pool fees go directly to liquidity providers, which means MinSwap takes nothing, and that is also a great sign. Now let's do some honorable mentions because we really don't know who is going to be the big winner. First here is Yay Swap. Yay Swap, we don't have a whole lot of information about them, but we do know that their transaction fees are going to be very low at 0.25%, and they'll have built in mechanisms to reward people who hold liquidity. And then we have PolySwap. Now, this one is very hard to find much info, and this is their website. That's the whole thing. But I thought, <laughs> excuse me for this, but I thought the name was funny and could could easily be confused for something that has nothing to do with crypto whatsoever. 
And uh, that's gonna do it. Which decks do you think will come out on top? Which one are you investing in? Let me know in the comments below. And if you wanna see who I end up buying in the future, make sure you join my Patreon, which is linked below in order to subscribe to all of my buy alerts. So that's gonna do it for today. I would like to thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a profitable day.